Welcome back to Bluffs News Channel 17. I'm Logan Peterson. Earlier in our show, we showed you a story about the organization Bodak celebrating their Thanksgiving feast. While their annual Christmas dinner is right around the corner, we will, it will be Thursday, December 3rd. At the Mid-America Center, here to tell you is, us about their event is Pam Mosky and Darren Richardson. Thank you for joining us. So how about we start off with you guys telling us a little bit about Bodak. Great. Uh, Bodak started back in 1968. Basically, there were a group of parents that got together and wanted to provide a work experience for their children. Um, and we've been doing that for the last 40 years. Um, in the last decade, we've added uh, residential services. We do a lot of work with schools. We've expanded what we do for businesses. So we've had a huge uh, 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 and successful uh, time of growth. And, uh, you know, we really like the opportunity to come out and talk to you about who we are and uh, what people can do to help our organization. Awesome. Um, so Bodak um, is vocational residential development, is it's that correct? Vocational Development Center, and so that's where the VODEC comes from. Yeah. We uh, provide vocational, residential, and day habilitation services for, um, what is it, 420 some yeah, clients right at that, in right the at that, metro. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that we serve. Of course, it spills over into their families. Um, and it's, it's just probably one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. Um, mm. I just have um, met so many wonderful people, mm -hmm. learned so much about people with developmental disabilities because I really hadn't had much contact with people. Um, and that's part of our mission is to get them uh, more integrated into the community, mm -hmm. take that fear factor away because yeah. it's just, you know, it's so important that um, everybody be allowed to pursue yeah. their interests, their goals, and their dreams. And what, what Pam has talked about is, is really, really at the heart of our mission. There are a lot of misconceptions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's people that are afraid and there's people that just find a way of not to help someone with a developmental disability. And, you know, we're talking people with Down syndrome that may have uh, uh, autism or, you know, a variety of other uh, uh, diagnoses. But the situation is, is that, you know, when someone comes to a business and asks for a job, mm -hmm. try to look at what the person's strengths are. Uh, when they come to a uh, your place of business and maybe looking for an apartment, you know, try to see the person. You know, don't try to see the disability. But that's it, it's hard for a lot of people to do, and and that's why agencies like ours, you know, struggle with this. And that's why we're glad to be here today because it's a great opportunity to do that. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, just to go on what Pam has said. When I started with Vodak, I've been there ten years, and when I first walked through the doors of Vodak, I had no idea that there was that many people there and I think that's kind of a fault of our society because we tend or at least at least in the early days it tend to the people with a developmental d disability tended to be out of sight out of mind yeah. mm -hmm. and so we're really really working hard to change that trying to have people live in apartments in their community the community mm -hmm. of their choice have people go to work and work alongside the typical workers in a typical setting and uh, uh, that's all those things that we try to try to get done um, but it's 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 we have enjoyed a lot of successes and there's just you know if anybody can get involved with Vodek, it's so great because you you meet people that you would never have a chance of meeting and yeah. you get really involved in the human story and yeah. it's it's really really compelling. What kind of jobs do um, you have for? Oh your well, clients? we have that's a great question. We have three work centers. Uh, we have two in Omaha, one in Council Bluffs. The one in Council Bluffs was our original one that was started back in the '60s. Uh, we work with, actively, we work with about 25 different businesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always get the job done right and done on time, and it's a variety of things that we do. Uh, we can put just about anything together. Uh, we can, uh, if someone needs something reworked or they need some quality inspection done, we can certainly do that as well. We do packaging, we do labeling, we do all sorts of things. Uh, there is a couple companies out there our workforce is, is so good at what they do that we actually run out of work for them to do. Oh, really? For instance, <laughs> for instance, the manufacturer. For instance, we uh, we have a a job right now where we're putting together plastic pieces, and the manufacturers actually can't keep up with us because mm -hmm. we build things so quickly. Mm -hmm. And people look at me and say, "No, no, I said, no." If if you get someone in the right situation with the right supports, I mean, you'd be amazed at what they can do. Uh, 
but the the manufacturer can't keep up with the parts. I mean, we're we're about every yeah. couple of months we're 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 not running out of work, but we're running out of parts. So we yeah. have to. That's why we have you know twenty twenty five different companies that we work with. So we yeah. always have work that we do. If I could just add, if I could put a plug in yeah, here, go ahead. that's all right. There's if if there is a business out there that is looking for work to get done uh, and get done right and done on time, and plus help us with our mission. Uh, we'd be glad to do that work for you. Uh, I'll give you the name of a couple of people you can contact. The first one is Jack Wicks. He's our uh, sales director. He can be reached at 455-4648, and that's a 402 number. Uh, the other person is uh, uh, Casey Clifford, and she can be reached at the same number, 455-4648. Those are both of our sales reps. They're, okay. they're great people, um, and they'll give us a call, tell us what you need to do, and we'll get you a price, and uh, I'll tell you what, you'll be really satisfied. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think was we that, even Was that a good sales do, job? Yeah, we, do, we do some work uh, for the <laughs> college as well. Um, yeah. You know, we put together collated yes, some we things. Have. And we have. It's, so it's, it's really, I mean, it's a great way for outside companies to get introduced to us. They bring the work to us, or we pick it up, we deliver it. I yeah. mean, it's really cool, but uh, we also support people in jobs in the community. Right, we, we do that as well. And, and you know, if it touched back on what we do in the work centers, just it, especially in this economy. Now mm -hmm. now we're entering a period where the economy is starting to grow a little bit, but businesses are unsure if they need to bring on additional, you know, increase their workforce. Yeah. This is a great place that, you know, if you're trying to get to a place where you can hire people, but you're not quite there yet, this is a great place. You can send us the work. We can do the work, you know, even until you get to the point where a business can hire you know, staff to do that. Yeah. So we're really, really good. We really help a lot of salespeople. Yeah, um, I bet. <laughs> so on December 3rd, you guys have your uh, annual Christmas dinner? That's right. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Christmas dinner is a uh, about an eight or nine year tradition that yeah. started um, at our Council Bluffs Work Center with a potluck and grew to, last year, over 700 <laughs> people. Wow. Uh, we provide a beautiful, elegant meal for our clients and two mm. of their friends or family, mm -hmm. free. Um, and, you know, we do sell tickets for $25. You can sponsor a dinner for $25. Um, and we have had amazing response. What we do mm -hmm. to help yeah. pay for this, because it costs us about $15,000 to wow. put this on. Um, and we ask the community for donations to help underwrite that. And I was really worried this year that, With you know, yes, it was going to be very difficult. But I was blown away because we have had a lot of new gifts. We're almost, um, we're close to like $12,000 right now that wow. we brought in. Um, so we still have a little bit to go. So anything helps. I mean, people have just been amazing. And a lot, most of that really comes from either the businesses that we work for, right. work with, or the families themselves will send in $100 or $25, whatever it is. And, uh, it just is so heartwarming. Yeah. And the dinner, you know, a lot of our clients, this may be it. This may be the only festive meal yeah. and party that yeah. they have. And, and and I can just touch on that a little bit because it's, it's important to understand that some of the people that work in the work centers mm -hmm. have never had a job before. They've never earned yeah. a paycheck before. They've never, you know, worked for a boss. So, so they walk in at, down at the Mid-America Center, they walk in, and this is their first company Christmas dinner. And they walk in, and they see all the tables, and they see everybody dressed up, and they see that. And you can the just, trees, the you can beautiful just, Christmas trees they put oh, up. You can oh, just really feel nice. it. You can just feel yeah. their self-esteem come up. And they and, really and they really feel valued. They really feel appreciated. And, uh, you know, I'm just one of my proudest moments of the year is when we get to do the Christmas dinner. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so you said there was going to be a dance with the DJ afterwards? Right. We had the, we added this last year, and um, it, it just was an unbelievable success, and everybody was out on the dance floor. I could not <laughs> believe it. It was just, it was so great. And, uh, you know, because there's couples are dancing, and then there's just like a free-for-all dance, and it was really, really fun. It is. It was awesome. really fun. Thank you for joining us today. Again, Vodax Christmas Center is Thursday, December 3rd at the Mid-America Center. Coming up next on Bluffs News Channel 17, what are you thankful for and pets of the week?